The stories you are about to see are portraits of America's Medal of Honor recipients, the highest award bestowed on an individual for conspicuous gallantry during combat. These are stories about a father, a son, a brother, a friend, the kid next door, or everyday people who, in an instant, a split second, reacted without hesitation during a fierce enemy attack. Without regard for their personal safety, they went into action to perform above and beyond the call of duty. They were called on to fight for their country, and they in turn gained this great distinction for their actions in combat. Singled out for valor, awarded America's highest military decoration. They are the bravest of the brave. These are American patriots, portraits of the Medal of Honor. In 1968, the Viet Cong were ambushing U.S. troops in Vietnam and making a clean getaway across the border into neighboring Cambodia. American special operations groups launched top-secret raids into these enemy sanctuaries from the forward operating base at Loch Ninh. The sweltering heat of the jungle was a climate well-suited for bugs and insects. Then Master Sergeant Gordon circles around to the other side of the aircraft. Durant continues to shoot until he runs out of ammunition. The end is near. Durant hears Gordon scream out. Warrant Officer Durant puts his hands up in the air and looks to the heavens. He's held as a prisoner for 11 days and used as a political tool. The mutilated body of Master Sergeant Gary Gordon is dragged through the streets of Mogadishu for the world press to see. The actions of Sergeant First Class Randy Schubert and Master Sergeant Gary Gordon's valiant efforts to save the pilot's life, their extraordinary heroism and dedication to duty are in keeping with the highest state of military service. Both men received America's highest military decoration. To their peers, they are the bravest of the brave. <laughs>